Hey guys, how you doing? Good morning. This is Big John with J Custom Builds. Hey, listen, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you and uh, invite you to check out my videos. I've been building Harleys now for a couple of years. I haven't really done videos on everything, but I've done videos on a lot of stuff. So I intend to continue to create more and more videos for you guys. I will get to those eventually. And if you are an existing subscriber, I'd like to thank you for your support. And if you are customers who entered to win one of my beautiful Harleys, 2009 Ultra, 2010 Street Glide, I greatly appreciate your support. And I intend on getting this raffle completed as soon as possible. We have 93 slots left. Thank God things are moving. So if you guys are interested in winning a beautiful Harley, I invite you to enter by going to my website, jcustombuilds.com. Purchase yourself a hat or a t-shirt or both. There's no limit on how many you can buy. And that's your automatic entry into the giveaway. Not only are you entering to win a beautiful bike, but you are supporting a really good cause. I've decided to donate $15 from every sale to Tunnels to Towers, which is a great cause for disabled veterans, Gold Star veterans, and first responders. They're doing some great stuff over there. I encourage you to go to T2T dot org and check it out it's very encouraging it's very motivating to me and i look forward to supporting that great cause other than that let's get started on this video i'm sure you guys are waiting for that so what i'm doing guys right now is i'm gonna go ahead and put on the uh the uh, air filter and I uh, I wasn't able to find the original not that I wasn't able to find it it's just that I don't want my brother-in-law to wait um, I had no idea that it was gonna take that long to actually find the Screaming Eagle uh, air filter that he has on his bike right now. And just the filter alone, the filter alone is like, I think it's 119 or 129 through Harley. And then the shipping and delivery and all that is, uh, it came up to like 154 or 156 or something like that. So... Oh, it's just like, wow. So I ended up just getting him another one um, that, that I think fits and works a little bit better because his leg comes down right here, right? His knees in kind of in this area or up here. And these guys right here with the wider, uh, the wider air filter, they tend to be kind of in the way. And so the one that I got him, I uh, kind of actually like it. I'm just putting like maybe 10, 10 pounds on these guys. Not much. Um, so what I like about this one, it's a little bit narrower. You get the same amount of suction. But the only thing is that the back plate on the other one was actually round. It was this diameter all the way around so this one's kind of like um oval is that the right word yeah this one's oval it's a k&n same thing but i don't have the backing plate so i'm gonna go ahead and just put this one on there and see how if my brother-in-law actually likes this one i like it you know um make sure i got the k&n on the right side so i mean it fits it fits perfectly over everything. And like I said, it's a little bit narrower. So it's really not in his way. And I love the fact that I can get this underneath. All you're seeing is the band. And I'll show it to you guys when I'm done. It actually, it actually looks pretty good. Let me make sure it's straight before I... Yep, it's straight. Before I start tightening it up. And, you know, it look, actually looks good. It doesn't have the chrome, the chrome uh, cover in the back, but I like it. I think it actually looks pretty good. Let's 
See, it doesn't have that chrome backing plate like the other one, but it actually looks pretty good. I think it looks much better than the cone. So I'll clean that up a little bit really quick. And uh, I think it looks great. I like it a lot. And uh, his other one was completely clogged. And, you know, it was funny. They're like, oh, those things have a... The K&Ns, you can use them over and over again. I was like, yeah, but he had the Screaming Eagle. The one that he had, it's not allowing me to use it. The paper that's in here, you see all that paper in the background or whatever this is made. Of, this actually isn't the paper one, but I believe that the one he had was blue. And it was the paper because I actually was not. I shouldn't say I was not. When I did clean it, it I'll show you guys. So here's the plate, right? So this fits inside the tube perfectly. The back's much bigger, right? You can see that. Well, if you look in here really close, you can see all the material in there, which is white, right? It looks good right there. But once you get over to that side, there's, oh, let me turn on the light. Once you get over to this side, look, the paper's all gone. Look at that. There's nothing in there but screen. So I can't reuse that again. I cleaned it like three times and all that stuff just kept shredding off. So I can't reuse it again. This thing's thing's pretty, it's pretty gone. And so it is the Screaming Eagle. And like I said, this thing's like probably, I, I couldn't find it anywhere else other than Harley. JP Cycle didn't have it or any of their other affiliates. And so you can see how this guy is kind of big and bulky, right? Well, this one fits the same that, you know, it's just a different style. But I actually think that one actually looks pretty good on there. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that one on there. So now that we got that on, I'm going to go ahead and move on to uh, the primary. I'm going to warm up the bike and then I'm going to change the primary. So I'll be back in a sec, guys. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it run for a little bit, about five minutes or so, and then I'm going to drain uh, the primary, adjust the clutch, refill it back up, and then uh, adjust the clutch up here, and then I'm gonna bleed the brakes so I can take this girl out for a test ride tomorrow. Today's my mom's birthday, yesterday was my wife's, and we're going out to dinner tonight with my mom, so I, I'm not gonna get to take her out for a ride, but. I'll have all day tomorrow. So let's let's get this girl started. It sounds really good with that uh, air filter on there. I mean, it looks good. Sounds pretty damn good, boy. She's really rocking on that stamp. See where it's got oil kind of burning off the uh, the bottom of the uh, pipes there. I gotta wipe that off really quick. All right, guys, that's been about five minutes. She sounds great. She sounds amazing, and I think that looks great on there with this girl. I love it. I love it. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drain the primary. I'm going to take that cover off. I'm going to adjust the clutch down there, but I got to loosen it up up here first. So hang tight. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to end up loosening. There's tension on the clutch. I'm going to end up bringing this all back out. Bring this down. And then I'm going to... Turn this all the way back down. I'm gonna keep turning this all the way back up here so that I can adjust the clutch down on the bottom, the actual clutch itself. It might not even need adjusting, but we'll see. It's going, it's just not going as fast as I'd like it to go. 
So when I'm done, I'm gonna clean this engine up and it's gonna look, that should be pretty good right there. Just go a little more. So when I'm done, this engine's gonna look black and brand new again. So there's a, a 5 8 plug right down here on the bottom, just like you have for your oils. And when you take it off, you want to be careful because the uh, I heated up the bike and the oil is going to be hot. And you want to change this O-ring on this every time you take it off. If you don't have another one and it looks good, don't worry about it. If it looks good, don't worry about it. But if it doesn't look good, change it. Ah, I think you guys can see the oil pouring out, right? That oil doesn't look too bad, but it doesn't look too good either. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this cover off too, it'll help it drain more. But this is the O-ring. Let me show you this before I stop. There's absolutely, I shouldn't say absolutely. There's very little, can you guys see that? There's very little tiny particles on here. You wanna take those off. This tip is a magnet and it's meant to catch all the small debris yeah, this one doesn't look too good. It looks like somebody's mechanics that have changed it. They didn't get a good wrench on it or they didn't get the right socket or whatever on it, kind of jacked it up. But this, it's kind of hard to show you guys, but this O-ring is all tore up. So here's the new O-ring. I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. I'll take that off and show you guys in a sec. So this is a T27, and that's what you want to use on there, a T27. And then, be careful, I always use a small pick. Be careful, I poke myself dozens of times. But that's how you take it off. And this is actually a different type of O-ring. This one's actually it's a little bit flat. You can still use this round one. It's no big deal. And let me clean this really quick. I'm gonna go ahead and put some sealer on here anyways. I like to use sealer on every time I change an O-ring. So there's a new O-ring that's on there. I'm gonna put some blue sealer on there. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and take that cover off. Gotta stay out of your guys' way here. And you want to be careful too because sometimes these things are they're really, really uh, tight. I'm gonna change these screws too because the heads are all jacked up on them. I have extras. So once you break them. They're real easy to take off. Ah, they're just, I wouldn't say they're really messed up. They're just, they're old. If they're good, you can always reuse them again. And you don't always have to change this uh, seal in here. It doesn't actually look pretty bad. I mean, it looks like it was recently changed. I know he did have a service on it not too long ago, but he hadn't really been riding it. And always remember to put this plug back in when you do your adjustment, and then you go to try to fill that back up. You don't want to start putting fluid in there and then you realize that your uh, plug's not in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. I'm gonna get my sealer and I'm gonna put the plug back in and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the plug in first. So I like using this, right? This is a true blue. It's basically a pipe thread sealant. 
and a lot of shops a lot of smaller shops use it this thing is so full you just have to grab a little bit that's actually probably a little too much maybe not and you just want to get it get it in all the threads like so that's not too much and then you want to fill down there for the hole and then get this girl back in there and then once you once you get that back on there nice and snug i have to cross you guys here i think i'm in your guys' way sorry That's good right there. It doesn't have to be that tight. You can move that and then you can get your rag and clean all, all up down here. And uh, you no longer need that anymore. And I'm gonna get this foil out of the way so I could do this clutch adjustment here. Okay, so what I did is I got a 730 seconds Allen and an 11 sixteenths, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold that center down, right? Get that back on there. I'm gonna hold this down and then I'm gonna loosen this nut right here. Man, that thing's on there. I wish I had like a curved. Dang, that thing is on there. I don't wanna damage that screw. Ah. I think I got it. Hang tight. My bad, guys. This is what you want. This is exactly what you want. It's long. It's the perfect length, and you're not gonna you're not gonna damage anything. There we go. Just took a minute. So what you want to do is, even if it's a 12 point like this and it's a six point nut, you want to have something that actually gets inside of there and kind of sits flat. So I'm using a closed 11 16th that's got a nice angle on it. So you turn this nut out, right? You want to turn this out and you want to bring this in until you feel it touch. So right there's where it's hitting, right? So I'm gonna bring it back. They say you should bring it back about half a turn or a full turn. I'm gonna bring it to like a little more than half and then I'm gonna tighten this up. I'm gonna go about right there and then I'm gonna tighten it right. Right there. Let me grab this. Okay. And that's it. So then when you're done doing that, then you want to go back up here. So when you're doing that, then you go ahead and come up here and you start bringing, you can see the lever is all the way out. So then you want to start bringing this girl out. Let me grab my 7 sixteenths. Where's it at? And start turning this girl back. It's not even grabbing yet. There it goes. All right. Keep going. They say you want to have like an eighth of an inch. That feels all right right there, guys, but I don't know. I just have to wait and see. I'm going to have to fill it up and give it a try. All right, guys, so I got all that adjusted up there. I think I got this right down here. So now I'm using the primary oil, and I'm going to go ahead and use this guy. 
to put it in. Let me see if I can turn this thing a little bit. Right there. Just so I can get my funnel in there. It's not gonna stay up, of course. But this usually takes the whole quart. It just depends. You can see that this is much cleaner than what was in there. What was in there was pretty dirty. And they recommend that you usually put it in there till you see it touch the bottom of the clutch. But I'm gonna just put the whole thing in there because that's what it actually calls for. Then we'll get, we'll get uh, the cover back on there and we'll see how this girl feels. So the Allen, if you guys are gonna ever try this, the Allen that you have to use is a 730 seconds. And then the nut is an 11 sixteenths. And depending on your clutch cable, this is a Barnett. And so the head, the actual locking nut is a 9 sixteenths. And the, uh, the adjuster on the bottom to, to adjust it up or down is a 7 sixteenths. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just let this drain back in there. And yep, that looks really good. All right guys, let's get the cover back on. I'm gonna put a little bit of Loctite on all the uh, bolts here. Little tiny bolts, these are quarter 20 bolts. And what I try to do is I get one on the very, very top that way you can uh, hold the whole thing. You keep it in the air, just get that one on there. Then I try to just, you could put them all on in order. I just try to go across pattern. And you kind of want to just, I kind of finger tighten them. It'll, it'll stop and I kind of just leave it stopped like that. I let it stop by itself, right? And then I, I grab my torque wrench. <clears throat> and usually you just have to go like, maybe a hundred inch pounds it says you can go anywhere from like, I don't know, 80 to 110. Some people say 120. I believe the book says anywhere between 80 and 110 inch pounds. So there you go. I cross as I go. There we go. And they're all done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start the bike. You know I me, mean? I got to try to, I always got to wipe everything down, right? So now I'm going to actually start the bike and see how that clutch actually feels. See how you feel, girl. So that sounds good guys. So now I just need to uh, ride it and see how the clutch feels. I'm not gonna tighten up the clutch here yet because I wanna see if I'm going to have to go back in there and uh, do another adjustment on the inside. I think it actually feels pretty good, but you know, you don't really know. You don't wanna have any creeping when you start it. You don't want it to start and then all of a sudden it starts creeping on you. You don't want that. And by the looks of the rear wheel, it's not creeping right now, but otherwise it'd be, it'd be spinning. And uh, so that's pretty good. And actually right now, I'm actually working on this guy here. I need to 
get that tightened back up. So I'm actually working on this guy here because it was actually loose. It was very, very dry in here. This was all rusted. I don't know if you guys remember, it was rusted just through and through. So I cleaned the bore inside and uh, changed the O-rings. There's an O-ring in the back and an O-ring in the front here. You can see the O-ring there. And I put some grease in there and I just took this guy. I'm ordering him a new one of these. I just took this guy off of here. It was just pretty faded and dull. It's old, so I'm, or, I ordered him a new one of these. And so I can actually get the shifter back on there. And let me see here. Let's see where it was actually at though too, man. I can put this on there just for now. So when you get this on there, you want to make sure that you, you want to make sure that you, uh, it's, it's, it's much better now. I mean, there's very little play. This shifter might just be messed up. It just might be worn from just being so dry and going back and forth. I wonder if I should just get him a new shifter. I mean, this feels pretty good. I'm just gonna leave it like that and see. But I don't think, I think that needs to be that high. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's about right, right there. So I'm getting him a new shifter. I'm just gonna put this bolt on there. And uh, I didn't wanna leave this like that. I don't think he wants to go with the rear, the heel toe shifter. I don't think he wants to go with that. This is how he had it. He did not have a heel toe, a heel one on there. So I think I'll just leave it like that. I'm gonna leave this on there just until this part comes so I can just test ride it like that. I'm gonna leave that on there like that and then I'm gonna tighten this up and I'm gonna get this back on there and uh, get this all together so I could test ride this girl. I wanna, I wanna take her out and see how she feels. So we can do that right now until all the rest of the other stuff comes. So the primary's done, all the fluids are done. I just need to get that zip tied up there. Just need to get that bolt back on there and uh, go from there. So. Like I said, I think the clutch feels pretty good, but we won't know until we ride it. All right, guys, I got a little bit of Loctite on that. I'm gonna tighten that up. Like I said, I got grease in there. And I'm gonna just see how that feels. I mean, it still has I think it might be the shifter shaft. Hmm. Just gonna leave it like that and see what happens, guys. I'm gonna put this guy on there and see how it feels. This isn't the nut that his had on there, but I found this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on his, on there for him. So I put a little bit of Loctite on here. And let's see here. I'm gonna see if I can get this tightened up. You know, man, he's he's already spent quite a bit of money on this bike, you know? And I'm like, part of me is like, you know, this bike, this poor bike set for so long. What fucking, oh yeah. This poor bike set for so long, right? And it just needed so much. A lot of the stuff got rusted and I don't want him to be on the road and something happens or something goes wrong. So if it needed something, then I highly recommended it to him, right? This is gonna look nice on there. The one he had was not as nice and it was messed up. So there it is. That's not too bad. Dang it. 
I'm gonna have to tell him that I'm gonna have to just get him a new shifter because honestly, guys, I just don't like the way that feels, man. Here, let me get the camera closer. Look right, look right there. See, see the play that this has? It's not supposed to have that much play. Like up and down, yeah, but not that way. I mean, the bike's a 2013, right? So it's what, 11 years old? And so it, it, it needs that. So uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna order it for him. You know, it's like maybe 45 bucks, 50 bucks. You know, he needs it. And like I said, we've done all this work to it, right? The last thing we wanna do is, you know, give the bike to him and then something end up, and this too, these things have been snapping a lot lately. So, you know, I would highly recommend that he change that as well. Maybe I could find him a black one. This the gear shaft is fine. This we're changing out. If I could find him a black one, I would, but I've only found these like in, in polished aluminum. I'll see if I can find him a black one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna order him the new shaft, the new uh, linkage, the gear shifter itself, and then maybe get him a new uh, linkage because that's the last thing he wants, man, is to be riding this bike and then next thing you know, that linkage break. When I was at Harley, I had at least one customer come in, I wouldn't say every week. Yeah, I'd say every week. My Either my linkage broke or it's getting ready to break. So, you know, after so long, you're jamming on it and you're shifting, you're jamming in it. I mean, granted, I'm, I don't think my brother-in-law just slams on it like a lot of other people do. He doesn't race his bikes or anything, but if I can find him one for a decent price, I'll go ahead and get it for him. Um, I don't want to spend that much more money. Like I said, he's already put a lot of money in the bike, but because he's put a lot of money in the bike, if it's going to cost another hundred dollars to get it running right, I don't think he'd mind. Let me go ahead and get that stuff ordered, guys. So I'm going to head to dinner. So I'm going to head to dinner, my mom's birthday again today. I want to thank you guys for watching my videos. I really appreciate you guys. If you guys like this channel, I invite you to subscribe. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. And if you have not joined my giveaway, I'm sure you've seen all the information on there. You can head over to my website, jcustombuilds.com. Buy yourself a hat, buy yourself a t-shirt or both or multiple. And those are your automatic entries into the giveaway. The more you buy, the more entries you have, the more chances you have to win one of these beautiful bikes. Other than that, you guys always Remember to ride safe, take care in everything you do, and God bless.